How's it going? Making a video tonight that's very important to me. It might be interesting to you, but it's something I need to do in order to deal with some compulsions I have. I um, think I'm still pointing these red stars at my face. Let's fix that. I, uh, I have ADHD super duper bad, and I have my whole life. It's not something that you develop. It, it, it is what you are. And one of the ways my ADHD manifests itself is through impulsiveness, uh, through speaking before I think, through acting before I think, and doing things, even though I know they're probably not good, but doing them without forethought. A good example of that is something I admitted to in a video I made very early on. You can see that up here, um, where I, I, I did something very foolish as a young person. Uh, and um, there were consequences to it, of course. Uh, so you'll also notice in the video I have much darker hair, and uh, the quality may be just as equally bad. I, I don't know if, if I've improved any over the years, but this video is almost, well, it's seven years old. Anyway, that being said, impulsiveness. It's a curse of mine. Uh, I have learned to deal with it as I have grown older. I tend to not all not speak my mind without thinking anymore. I tend to not do dumb things without stopping to think. I've trained myself to pause for a moment before acting. That being said, that the compulsion is often still there, and I, I have to fight it. So, uh, as I think many of you know, I have recently acquired a fiber laser. Um, I know for a fact that it will probably hurt if I stick my finger in the fiber laser but I really want to do it. So, I'm, as I've, like I said, as I've gotten older and wiser, I know that that's a really dumb thing to do. I still want to. But I'm going to try to take a little better approach to this, a more scientific approach. And what I've done is I've purchased this synthetic skin. It feels like skin. It's crazy, the texture of it. It's creepy, actually. But what it's used for is um, for medical students, nurses, whomever, to practice giving injections on. Um, I'm going to I'm going to fire my laser at this thing and prove to myself that sticking your finger under it's a bad idea, and therefore maybe I will, you know, do away with that compulsion that I have. I have a job I've created that is basically a series of 10 lines, top to bottom, with varying amounts of power. You can see how I've got it configured here. The pens are um, in order, 0 to 9, and it goes like 10% power. So what it is, it's, it's, I have the first block of 5 going at 700 millimeters per second, and then I've got the power graduating, 10, 25, 50, 75, 100. And then I've got another block of five that's at 300 millimeters per second. And again, graduating 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100% power. And the thing is, that's basically least powerful to most powerful. Because the power, you know, is not only a function of how strong the laser is firing, but also the speed at which it's going across the surface, right? So if it's going across faster, it's going to not do as much um, damage. So... That's the theory anyway. So I have this job configured in EasyCAD 2. I have this skin on my on my um, laser bed. I have my ventilation running because I don't know what it's going to do as far as uh, smelly residue from lasing this. But I'm going to push the button on this and fire this laser, run this job, and I want to see what the results look like from this skin. So, uh, give me a moment, I'm gonna go push the button. Now I have my Elgato Stream Deck configured here to run my laser, so I'm gonna push a button here too. I've got a video coming up on how to do that, by the way. So I'm gonna push a button here, and I'm gonna engage my laser, and I should mark. Let me put my glasses on. 
and ready, go. All right, well, not terribly dramatic. Let's take a look at this. First of all, the skin is warm, as you would expect. It was just being subject to heat. There are some marks. Can you see that? There are marks, and the skin is clearly abraded a little bit, not very deep. One of the things about these is and it's, not like, it's not like this is going to slice off a finger if you stuck it in there. It's going to, it, it has a very narrow depth where the laser is focused. And it'll only go that deep and, and it very quickly loses power. So this is a 30 watt laser. So um, it, clearly it did what was expected. The, the, the lower percent powers, there was hardly any reaction at all no matter what speed it was. But when you got up to around 75 to 100%, you saw, I mean, there was a burning action. There was, the, the, the surface layer of this was being burnt. So definitely leave a mark. It will definitely burn you. And looks like it would be a pretty bad idea. So I think I learned my lesson by proxy of the fake skin that volunteered itself for this purpose. Um, so, I now hopefully will no longer feel the need to stick my finger in a laser and can move along with doing my fun projects without that running in the back of my head. There you go, a little insight into my mind. Maybe not such a great thing, but it is what it is. It's out there. I won't be sticking my finger in a laser anytime soon. All right, guys, there you have it. Not too dramatic, but it will hurt. Promise you that. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.